Hello and welcome to my Pokemon Black Tuna Slock, the sixth and final part of my ongoing One Trainer vs. the World series, chronicling the adventures of Pokemon Trainer Vega, leader of the sinister team Your House is on Fire, and her quest to become the champion of everywhere. Now, I would very much recommend that you watch the previous runs I've done before this one, seeing how I'm definitely going to be referencing the previous runs. But for those who haven't seen the previous runs and want to watch this one at first anyway, here are the rules. So when we last left our protagonist, she had defeated the evil Getsis and foiled his evil plans, only to find that she couldn't become the champion of the Unova region at that point, because Getsis kind of ruined the Pokemon League, and then it was going to take another two years for them to repair the Pokemon League for some reason, and by the time they did that, the badges she had gotten wouldn't be valid anymore, meaning that she would have to start all over again. And after that, she had a run-in with her old nemesis, the level 100 Shiny Arceus, who totally just guilt-tripped the fuck out of her over the fact that if she had been more careful in that last battle with Getsis, the Pokémon that died in said battle probably wouldn't have died. Not that she really took much time to think about that, because she then just immediately went home to play Legend of Zelda instead. But now the time has come for her to start again, the final stage of her journey, provided that nothing gets in the way of her completing it once again. Will Vega be able to become the champion of the Unova region this time? Find out! After this, I suppose. Wait, I always thought that you weren't able to name your rival after Generation 4, but apparently you are able to name your rival in this game. Hmm, I did not realize that. Well then, I suppose I will have to give him a name that is completely different from what he currently has. Hmm. I swear I most totally did not just hit a bunch of random letters with no rhyme or reason behind it. Nope, I totally intended to call him Zmursky. That was totally what I was going to call him anyway. I mean, it's just a logical name for him, isn't it? And it's not at all as if that's actually going to be really annoying to pronounce or anything. Nope. Zmursky. That is now my rival's name. Also, once again, damn it, Professor Juniper. I know all this stuff. After all, we have met before. Not that you ever remember that. I almost feel like maybe I should have activated the Unova Link feature just to get some extra, like, extra story content and such, but I'm not sure I can really do that on this emulator, or at least I don't know how I would go about doing that on this emulator. And here we see my new house. Because despite having lived in Udova for two years, at some point we just decided, meh, let's just move to an entirely different part of the country that didn't exist two years ago. Oh hi! Why, are we in Jupiter? Juniper, it's been far too long. What can I do for you? Wow, a Pokedex for my daughter who actually already has one, but yeah... She's totally, she's totally okay with getting another one. I mean, it's not like she never even finished filling out the first one, so... But... Okay, Bianca, right? Yes, I already know her. You know, we used to be neighbors two years ago, but... Damn it, games, stop contradicting my narrative that this is actually the same character in every single game. Right. And I noticed that the text um, that the text speed was at minimum at mid, and of course the battle style has to be sitting on sets and such. Also, like before, I've been going by as usual. I'm going to use the trainer ID number to decide which starter I'm getting. But seeing how I got Tepig last time, and it actually stayed with me through the entire g game, I figured that whatever the case, I am not going to choose Tepig this time, which is actually a bit dumb considering how he's clearly the best one, but... So what I'm going to do is, if the number is 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, I'm getting Snivy. If it's anything else, I'm getting Oshawott. So, what is the final number going to be? Hmm. Alright, it's... 
It's a five, meaning Snivy. I am disappointed. Ah oh, well, I suppose I will just have to deal with put with what is probably. Well, I mean, strictly speaking, again, none of the starters in this game are actually all that good. Tepping is really kind of the best one, but... Well, you know, I already have a bunch of Pokémon, and it's just that, well, I kind of don't really want to use them anymore after the level 100 Shiny Arceus guilt tripped me the last time we met. Ah oh, well, I'll just go and get some new ones then. My conscience is clear! You know, getting a bunch of new Pokémon to send to their deaths isn't really any better. I feel like I just heard a level 100 Shiny Arceus in an entirely different region facepalming at me. Yes, I know what a Pokédex is. I already have one, but I'm going to assume that you're... that... Yeah, as usual, you're going to insist on me taking this thing that I already have! Seriously, mother, why do you constantly suffer from amnesia? And yes, I know how to open the bag. Well, seeing how you're the most frustratingly unhelpful person in the universe, I'm just going to ditch you. Ugh, and I don't have my running shoes. Hi, Vega. Hi, you get a Pokemon yet? There aren't, me there aren't any Pokemon trainers around here and I'm getting bored. What's that? A person named Bianca is giving you a Pokemon? Really? Vega, if you get a Pokemon, take really, really good care of it, okay? Yeah. Okay, let's go get your Pokemon. There's something I have to do. And to do that, I need someone I can trust beside my partner Pokemon. A person I can, a person I can trust. That's right, I'm talking about you. You seem like you've got good instincts. You head on home. Okay, big brother. Bye-bye, Vega. All right, let's go find that person named Bianca. Let's go. Hmm. It still just feels weird not being able to run, especially seeing how like pretty much everything else is exactly the same as it was in the previous game. So just that one difference, that and I suppose the fact that I, that I kind of look like Sailor Moon now, just that really kind of throws me off a bit at the moment. Ah, well. It won't take long before I get the before I get the running shoes, I suppose. Oh, I get it. The outlook is Asmertia's most famous spot. I'll bet Bianca is up there looking at the scenery. Come on, go get your Pokemon already. Hi Bianca, give me my Pokemon already. Oh! Yes, I um, oh hi Vega! I'm the assistant of Professor um, of Pokemon Professor Juniper right now! By the way, I'm looking for you. Do you know you? Yes, I do know me. Oh wait, you are Vega. Wow, I can't believe I've completely forgotten about you, but... Oh, this, that joke is getting old, but yeah. Anyway, just give me my serpent already. That is actually kind of decent graphics for being a DS game and such. Just... Yes, this is indeed the Pokémon I want. Or actually, it kind of isn't, but... Again, it's what, I was stu what I'm stuck with. Would be nice if it had the contrary ability, but it's not going to have the contrary ability. Because that is not a thing that happens in the regular game. Right, I had been thinking about this and... His name shall be Salazar, after Salazar Slytherin. Not a reference to the villain to, of the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Which I heard, shockingly enough, wasn't a particularly excellent movie. I mean, honestly, I never expected the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie to be a particularly excellent movie, seeing how, well, in hindsight, really only the first one was particularly good to begin with, and so my main reaction to even hearing that they were making another one was just like, Seriously, hasn't that franchise kind of run its course by now? And then according to people who did see it, yeah, it kind of still has to run its course. So, yeah. In any case, that is not what that Snivy is named after, so I don't know why I even went on that rant. 
Hey, how long are you planning on keeping me waiting anyways? Hey, what's that? So that's your partner, huh? That's great. My sister already said so, but take really, really good care of your Pokemon. Got it? What's that you're holding there? It's a Pokedex! Please, give me a Pokedex too! I want to get stronger, and for some reason having a Pokedex will help me do that! Um, who are you again? I'm Smursky! I'm going to travel to Unovarine with my Pokemon partner in order to search for something very important! Well, okay, I don't really get it, but going on a journey is always good! Anyway, I just happened to have another Pokemon index on me! It looks like Pokemon distribution has really changed compared to two years ago, so the more the merrier! Oh, I thought of something cool! You both have Pokemon, right? Why don't you have a Pokemon battle? Nah, that sounds like the worst idea ever, but I know I'm going to be forced to do it anyway! Let's see how good a trainer you are! I'll use my Tepig that I raised from an egg! Well... I sure hope that Tepig doesn't, ha um, doesn't have Ember yet, because that would ruin stuff for me immediately. As for how good a Pokemon trainer I am, at this point it doesn't really matter, but you know, I'm still the champion of four regions! Would be five, were it not for the fact that the Pokemon League collapsed before I got to defeat it! Hmm. Oh dear, it appears that he just does ever so slightly more than me. Hmm. And I have no potions. This is inconvenient. Right. I am going to assume that um, that's him taking the, um, some time off to just do status uh, conditions on me or lower my stats. Might give me the t time I need to win. Okay, that didn't happen. I mean, yes, strictly speaking, that did happen, so, um, well, that was the shortest Nuzlocke ever. You know what? I'm going to try again. Ugh. I feel like I just had a terrible nightmare in which I got, in which I started another journey and lost immediately. Well, good thing that didn't happen. So let's see now. Hmm. And my tr my starter is still snivy this time too. Okay then. Wait, what I what I mean? Do I mean this time too? I mean it's not like I've done this before or anything. Right, now let's see if under the exact same circumstances, except I guess Zal Salazar now has a different nature, if I will do any better. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, that's not the first time I've failed a Nuzlocke, but it's the first time I've immediately failed in the very first battle! Right, the damage output seems to be a bit more even now. But, I mean, he's still doing exactly the same things, so... Okay, um, that could mean I'll win now? I mean, I never thought I'd actually worry about this, because, I mean, I think that's actually the first time I've ever lost the first battle, but... Okay, I won this time. So, that's nice, I suppose. I couldn't achieve victory for my partner. I won't let myself forget this frustration. I lost. This is different than battling with wild Pokémon. Well, whatever. I'm just happy to know you're a trainer I can count on. Cool, I'm heading up first. Get stronger! The Pokémon on both sides did their best. But this little one is weak. It's still weak, so battle with it to make it stronger. Alrighty, let's make your Pokémon better at the Pokémon Center. It's like the best place ever for Pokemon to battle and get hurt! Of course, with the train ID number I have now, 
Even if I was going by the um, by the old rules from from previous runs, I would still get Snivy. Whereas for that previous one, I guess I would have strictly speaking gotten Tepig if I had just followed the same standard rules that I completely forgot about f on my previous black run. Well, I mean, I forgot the exact order I had assigned to things. So sorry, Oshawott. You got um, you got cheated out of being my starter in the previous game, and you once again didn't get to be my starter in this game. Even though that would have been helpful, but... <laughs> oh well. I mean, Oshawott was my starter in my regular run of Black 2, so... That actually makes this, I think, the only generation... Oh no, wait, it, I've also done that. I've also used all three starters in the Hoenn region. But yeah... I think in every other game there is at least one starter that I just haven't used. I'm not sure I've ever actually used Squirtle in the original games. I don't... well, I mean I've only really completed the Generation 2... Mm, the Johto games in general once. Uh, with that Meganium who died. And... Yeah. Platinum. I've never used a Turtwig. And the only starter in Generation 6 I've actually carried through the entire game would be my first starter, Froki, who I first just called a frog, with a, with a punctuation at the end of it. But then later I decided to change its name to Zaber, after a character from the hilariously bad Code Geass fanfic, Awesome of the Rebellion. By the way, yet another sh shameless plug for my fanfic reading channel where I read that story. Of course, it was kind of silly calling my, calling my Froki Zaber, being that said Froki was female and Zaber is very much a male character, but that was indeed what I called it. And in Sun and Moon, I have yet to really use Litten. Though I used both P Rowlet and Poplio on my regular run of the game, because, well... Me and my sister both soft reset until we got female starters, and then at the mm, closest opportunity, the first opportunity, we bred them and traded with each other. So we both had both Poplio and Rowlet on our games. For the record, I started with Rowlet. I know how to catch Pokemon, so let's just skip this. And it has been skipped. Now then. What sort of awesome things am I going to find in this route? It's probably going to be a Patrat, a Lillipup, or a Purloin. In which case, I am hoping for a Purloin. No, not. I am not hoping for a Purloin. Purloin sucks. I am hoping for a Lillipup, who will hopefully live a little bit longer than Victor. Did I not just say that Purloin sucks? <laughs> but I suppose that's what I'm now going to have to get as my first partner. Meh! Also, I noticed the wild battle music is slightly different here. I mean, it's still the same basic tune, but they have remixed it. Which is nice, I suppose. Gives it a bit more variation, even though I'm once again going to have to run through the same region and face a lot of the same gym leaders. Which, of course, means... Time to immediately again start dreading Clay's Excadrill. Except before that, I should probably dread the first gym leader, because that's already going to be enough of a problem as it is. Well, at least this black cat is sufficiently evil for me, I suppose. Wasn't there a character named Felicia in Spider-Man who had the alter ego of the black cat? I mean, I think that's what her alter ego was anyway, so... Yeah, it made sense to me. Maybe it didn't actually make sense because maybe I'm remembering it wrong just like that time in the previous run where I forgot that Bruce Wayne is bad, is Batman and not, and not the Hulk, but yeah. Jolly nature, eh? So that makes him more fit to be a physical attacker, but... And you are also more fit to be a physical attacker. Hmm. Hang on, what's actually... what's sort of moves does, does Snivy get? I mean, I know if he, ha he actually had the contrary ability, he would be way better as a spe special attacker, because then he could just spam Leaf Storm and get status buffs from it, but... 
he is not a special. He is not a Pokemon with the contrary ability. So let's see now. Well, actually, not necessarily that bad. Yeah, the best. Or wait, now I'm looking at this Generation 7 learn set. Hopefully, what I just saw still applies for his Generation 5 leaf set, move set. Yeah. His best leaf move, not counting Leaf Storm, which has a severe drawback, is Leaf Blade, which is physical. So, yeah, actually, Jolly Nature is fine. I mean, I would have preferred something that boosted his attack ever so slightly, but still, it doesn't really hurt him. And I suppose I should immediately get to work on grinding my new team as well. But with that, I should just lead with Felicia, who is still super weak. And after what happened at the very start of my previous run, I think I'm going to do some switch training to begin with. <sighs> Unfortunately, once again, rustling grass and by extension Audino doesn't become available until after you beat the first gym, so... The grind to get there is going to be a slow and tedious one indeed. I want to get her I want to get her up to at least level 5 before I go anywhere further. Right, she is at level 5, so now she should be able to do slightly more, I suppose. A bit. Which should in turn enable me to carry on and go to other places and potentially catch a pat rat. Or a lily pup. Or, with insane amounts of luck, maybe something else. That is actually interesting! I mean... I think there are some cool things you can get at like the ranch just before, mm, which is before the next gym, but the first gym that is. Of course, the silly thing is the first gym is normal types and the game recommends you go and grab a Riolu because, well, Riolu is a fighting type, so it's strong against normal types. Except it's only normal type move is counter, which only deals damage based on how much damage you dealt to the opponent first. Well, no, how much the opponent dealt to you, obviously. It wouldn't make sense for you to deal damage based on what you dealt to the opponent first. That doesn't make any sense. But... Problem is... In said gym... The Pokémon do have a tendency to spam work up. Allowing themselves to become strong enough to basically one-shot anything. Which... Makes that what makes this game another nice case of early game hell. Especially seeing how even if I had started with tapping, I would the level limit would have prevented me from actually getting it evolved into a fighting type before I could actually face the gym. So yeah. You there, traitor! Oh, hello, dude, whom I never got to fought in, in fight in the previous game. And you are? Oh, Vega. Sorry, I didn't recognize you. It's just you kind of look like Sailor Moon now, and you didn't the last time I saw you, so... Yeah, your Purloin is a fine-looking Pokémon. But you're not exactly... Yes, I am! Indeed, I'll train you a little... No, you don't have to! Right... And I got a bit injured while level grinding there, so... Going to heal up immediately. And maybe buy a few potions and such. Right, so... I already went to the Pokémon Center. You're a bit behind on this stuff, aren't you, Alder? Clearly you are too old to be a champion by now. Oh! It's your friend's town map, is it? Your friend is the one with the tapping, isn't he? It just so happens he was training his Pokémon on Route 20. But if that's the case, you should go give him the town map first. Just follow this road. It goes to Route 20. Ah, actually, yeah, that's that's kind of nice then, that there is a Route 20 in between here and the ranch. 
Which means I get better chances of getting something cool once I get to the ranch. Well, first I gotta beat up these people. Or well, at least this one person. Trainer theme is also slightly remixed, but it sounds a lot more similar to the previous one than the wild Pokemon theme. So yeah, stuff. I'm still not feeling quite comfortable with having with having Felicia actually battle. Because you see, she is a Purloin. And Purloin is not awesome. Snivy is also not awesome, but at least Snivy has a stab move. Ugh. You know, with how much I am not appreciating Salazar here, I'm sure that he is going to end up becoming a total bro later. That's just how it goes, isn't it? The Pokémon you actually you actually like from the get-go end up dying on you. The Pokémon you have no faith in end up becoming your best Pokémon. Well, I mean, not always, of course. I mean, there are cases like, say, Orson, whom I was like, yay, I got the Mudkip. And then what do you know? Mudkip ended up being super awesome for me. But then there's stuff like Cora, whom I was just immediately set up to love. And, well, I mean, she still kicked ass, but she didn't kick ass through the entire journey. Because she didn't last the entire journey. Which is pure evil of her. Yes. I literally just blamed my own Pokémon for dying. That's not an evil thing to do at all, of course. Not that it really matters, because you see, I mean, I am, in fact, evil in this game, so... Right, I think this should be fine, but I'm going to growl first. Of course, you're going to answer in turn, so that may not have really helped much. Scratch then. And then you're going to growl at me more. Hmm, I might have to switch into Salazar anyway. Just because this thing is going to nerf me so badly that I can't do anything. Huh. Well, that did basically nothing to me, so... Oh, how much easier this would have been if I still had Hogan, Madoka, and, and Irene. But nope! I just left those behind at home. That, to me, seemed like the smartest thing to do. So... We are now in a new area with, with new grass. Will I get something awesome in this new grass? Well, I mean, it did work for me for a while in the last game, so eh, I'm fine with that, I think. Now don't score a critical hit and kill it. Well, you scored a critical hit, but at least you didn't kill it. <coughs> that would have been kind of hilarious, though. So, the last one was Tomoko, and in my previous run of Black 2, I caught a, a path rat and named it Abortion. I'm definitely not going to name this one Abortion, though, because, I, because in Black 2 the last time, I was just going by the joke that the player character actually just hates everything. Hmm. I know Tomoko from, from Watamote had a brother, so... Excuse me, I'm going to look up what his name was. Tomoki. Alright then. Man, what creative parents Tomoko had. Well, I mean, I suppose I shouldn't really be saying anything, being that I just did the exact same thing. But... Up here is the Flossessi Ranch. I don't know how I'm actually supposed to pronounce that, but... Now... What will I get here? It's possible that it will be something cool. Eh. Well, not quite what I was hoping for. But it'll do, I suppose. I mean, it'll have to do. What else am I supposed to do? Nothing. 
I can't do anything else. This is what I got. So... Right. I'm going to assume that even if it leers at me one more time, I am not going to immediately... I'm not going to immediately die. But now I might want to switch out. I thought I could just throw a Pokeball, but I want to be on the safe side. Huh, and I just realized I should probably also go back to the Pokemon Center and heal up stuff. So... It has been caught! Now... Hmm... Maybe I should once again go lazy and base its name of what, it, <laughs> of what I called it last time. So since the last one was Vict Victor and this one is female... Victoria! I gotta admit, I was hoping for- mm, I was hoping for a Mareep though, but I didn't get a Mareep though. Alternately a Riolu, but I knew the odds of getting a Riolu were so slim that it was basically not even worth hoping for. Now then, how about we also battle this dude? <laughs> Plot twist! He said he had a Hapatrat, but what he actually has... It's the level 100 shiny Arceus! Oh no, it's just a bad rat. But how do you know that it's not actually the level 100 shiny Arceus who has used and transformed to turn itself into a level 4 bad rat? Unfortunately, it can't undo that, so that was kind of dumb of you, level 100 shiny Arceus. That, or maybe it is, in fact, just a bad rat. But nah, what I said just sounds so much more fun. A thought just occurred to me though. I was complaining about mm, about my Snivy and saying that it might just end up being super amazing. Well, in fairness, when I have used Snivy in previous Nuzlocks, it has actually pulled its weight pretty well. I mean, in my failed first run of Black, it was with me until the battle against Clay, where it died along with everything else. And in my second run of Black, I happened to get a- I somehow got a Snivy egg at the very start of the post-game, because yeah, that was an egg lock. Well, I just gave myself a bunch of eggs basically, but still. And that- and that Snivy actually stayed with me until the my rematch with the Pokemon League, and kind of was the MVP in that Pokemon League battle. That is, until Saber the Ex-Superior died in-, in against Alder, literally his first Pokemon, in one shot, but before that, Saber the Superior was in fact quite amazing. So, yeah, I suppose one should not underestimate the Snivy, it is actually quite capable of being not terrible. Oh, nice, you come here to toughen up, alright, let's see how much stronger you- ALREADY?! Seriously? And now he's going to have a stab move. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of bad. I was not prepared for this. Just immediately. I'm having some pretty terrible luck with this game, it would seem. Wow, that was not nice. Eh, going to growl at you to try and prevent you from dealing any more devastating damage. Eh, but you can tail whip at me. <laughs> so, <laughs> arg. Hmm. Gotta check what the, my Pokemon's stats are right now. Victoria is roughly the, has roughly the same defense, so. But then again, she might have considerably less HP. She has somewhat less HP. Well, still capable of taking a hit at least. Mm. Going to Leer. 
and hope that it doesn't score a critical hit and kills my Victoria immediately. It didn't. Mm. Well, I guess then I can switch back into Felicia. Then heal up and use another Growl. Uh, unless, of course, you do that. Which you did. I don't like you. You're annoying. And lame. Well, I'm going to heal up again, though. Uh, wait, I suppose that's actually the first potion I'm using, but still. Barring a critical hit, it's not going to kill me in the next one, so... Trying to growl again. Right. So, um... It's still just using tackle and such. Hmm. Do I want to take the chance? Hmm. Salazar does have decent special attack compared and special defense compared to everything else I have. Eh. It seems like the only thing I can really do in order to be guaranteed a win here, so. And Tail Whip is not going to affect if it uses, if it actually uses, you know, Ember on me. If it even has Ember. It might not have Ember. That's strange. Hmm. So, um, I'm going to leer at it then. And then... Well, there's a plot twist for you. Was talking about how... Mm, was to going back and forth on whether or not Salazar would be useful. And then it instantly died. Mm. That actually complicates things a lot. In fact, that might have just ruined everything. Immediately. Arg. Fuck off! You need to apologize to me for killing my starter immediately! Hm. Who am I? I'm the owner of this ranch, and this is my wife! After a Pokemon battle, you should heal your Pokemon's HP, right? Here, I'll give you this. Yeah, but it's not going to help Salazar, no, is it? By the way, you didn't happen to see a herdier around here, did you? I can't figure out where it went. Our two herdier are, are always together, and this is the first time one has wandered off, so I'm a little worried. You're... you're a little worried? Are you kidding me? Your Pokémon might be lost forever! Whatever! I'll look! Vega, help out! No! You bastard! I do not want to have anything else to do with you! Hmm. Arg! Just. Arg! So, I've lost my starter, immediately, and now I'm stuck with a, mm, with a bunch of mediocre Pokémon that, well, I mean, Victoria might be potentially good if she actually lives, but that's not a good start. Not at all. <sighs> v 
make a second attempt at conquering the Unova region is off to the worst possible start. Will things get better? Find out next time.